Okay, I'm going to make a video here, a real quick, easy video to show you simply for my X-Plane friends here how to use Ortho real quick once you've got it on your computer. So you downloaded Ortho. What I do is I put the Ortho XP folder right here on my desktop. So it's always easy to access and get at. All right. So now the very first thing I do, we're going to make a tile and we're going to put it in an ortho forexp tile. We're going to put it in the game, okay? So the first thing I do is I go over here to my Kaspersky antivirus and I pause it. You may not have to do this. So I'll tell you why I pause it. Because for some reason, Kaspersky thinks that my uh, ortho forexp exe is a virus, and every time I try to run Ortho 4XP with the antivirus running, it deletes the EXP, EXE, so I pause it. So anyway, so there we go. We we got we're gonna make a tile. So we go to your you go to your I keep this up here. So you, you click on your Ortho 4XP file, and you open it up, and you go down to bin. When you click on bin, you scroll down, and you'll see a thing in here called Ortho 4XP 120B EXE. That's what you want. You double click on that and it runs the, runs the, this will come up. And this is how you make your tile. So on this page, um, first of all, you see it says base source, Bing, B1. You got a whole bunch of them in here. But I, that's different places you can get the tile information. But Bing is the default and it always seems to work the best. And this is your zoom level, how much detail you, you see. Well, everybody that likes my photos, that's only using 16 level. You can go to 17, 18, or 19. And you see by my picture, 16 is plenty. And what happens when you go to a higher level, like if you go up here to 17, what that does is quadruples your file size. And when you go from 17 to 18, it quadruples your file size from 17. So 16, one tile in 16 I found, takes about an hour to make, and it's about a gig. If you go to 17, it takes two or three hours to download a tile, and it's like four gig. And if you go to 18, it takes like four hours to make a tile, and it's like seven or eight gig. 16 is all you want. So uh, we got that set. Then leave everything you see. Don't touch a thing, all right? Except you go down here where it says on completion. I changed this to exit program because that lets you know when it's done. Because as soon as it's done making all the tiles, it'll shut this down. And if you leave it do nothing, you don't know if it's done or not. You might interrupt it, and then you got to start all over again. So I always put exit. Now to make your overlays, that's what you need. The tile itself doesn't have any lights or traffic on the roads. You get that from your overlays. And where you build your overlays, you click here, you custom overlays. And now you got a, mine's already set up, but where it goes is once you click on this, you go up to uh, X Plane 11, Global Scenery, Global C, X Plane 11, Global Scenery, and in that has another folder called Earth Nav data. Don't touch that. You just go up here and you click on the global scenery. That's all you want. So that down here it says X Plane Global Scenery. And you select it. And it'll go down here. So that's all. This page is all set. So now you open your tile map. And uh, I selected Dortmund. And the way you get these tiles is. You hold down your shift key and your shift key and you right click. Each one of these is a tile about a hundred miles by two hundred miles. So we're going to make one here at Dortmund. And if you take your finger off the shift key and just click it, you get a yellow box that'll tell you what the tile number is. So it's fifty one zero zero seven. All right. So you want to make the tile. You, you, the only boxes you check here are build mass and build overlays and you click batch build and when you go in here all the information will start 
building that tile. All right. So da 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 da. da we'll pretend that tile is already built. All right. So then you your game your Ortho 4XP shuts down. It's all shut down. And then what you do is you go back into the Ortho 4XP folder because it's shut down. It's finished making the tiles. And you'll see a folder in here. This is your overlays, your your traffic and your lights on the city and everything. So you open up your custom scenery. And you drag that into your custom scenery folder on your X-Plane. So that goes in here. These are all my tiles. i got tons of them. And then what you do is uh, you go in the tile folder. There's a, there's a, uh, that's where all your, your new tiles are. They'll all be in here. So when you, what you do is you take them and you drag them out of there into your custom scenery folder. And you don't worry about that tile folder because it'll make the new tiles in there as you go, right? You just take them out of there and put them in your custom scenery. There will also be a folder in here that I've already removed. That a lot of people don't know this. It's called Ortho Photos. Those photos are only made to make the tiles. Once the tiles are finished, delete that folder out of here. Ortho Photos folder. Delete it. Because it holds like about if you if your tiles a gig, get a hold of a gig of photos and you don't need that. And it's taken up half your hard drive space. So once you make your tile and you put it in your custom scenery, Delete the ortho photo scene folder out of here. And that's pretty much it. So what happens now is you start your game up, because I put that, that scene folder in there, right? So we'll start the game up here. Let's take a second to get started. Because I got so much stuff in there. It'll, sometimes it takes me five minutes to load the game. Well, it doesn't take five minutes to load it, but it takes me five minutes to load the scenery. And the airplane once I'm in the game. So we'll go in here, we'll start it up. Because what this is doing by starting the game, it's putting, like you know, it's putting those sceneries into the INI file. So once we get started there, we started the game. Okay, I can close it again. Or I can just minimize it for now. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. There, close it. So now. You go back in your custom scenery, and you see the scenery pack any. Click on that, and you see the new ortho tiles are right up here at the top of your any file. Well, you don't want them at the top. You want them below all your airports. So I right-click on it, cut it, which is like copy and paste, right? You cut it. Move this up the top. Then I go all the way down to below my all my sceneries, 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 until I get to my ortho tiles. Here's all my tiles, ortho 4xb tiles. And all I do is I right click here and I paste it. And there it is right there. So that's all there is to it. Then when you close this, because you've changed it, you got to save it. And now when you start your game and go to that area, you're going to see ortho scenery. That's all there is to it. I hope this explains.